In this video, I'll show you the second method I recommend to draw an ellipse. Welcome back to another EGD video. In this video, I'm going to use point A as the middle point of my ellipse. I will also be using a major axis of 140 and a minor axis of 100. And as always, I'm using a blue pen to show my construction lines. Let's start off by drawing the axis that will be required to draw this ellipse. My major axis is 140. That means I will use 70 millimeters on both sides of point A. And for my minor axis, I'll use 50 millimeters above and below point A to make it a total height of 100. Proceed by labeling these points as B, C, D, and E. Before we proceed, we need to construct a rectangle on these new points. I will use point E, D for my horizontal side and point B, C for my vertical sides. I will be using the left top angle and labeling that as point F. After constructing my rectangle, I need to join point D and F using a construction line. You can then take your ruler and find the middle point between F and B. Alternatively, you can also apply the middle point method. You can label this point as point G. Use your ruler then to connect point G and E using a construction line. Where these two construction lines section each other, I can label that as point H. Take your ruler and then join point B and H. I will then take my compass and apply the middle point method on line BH. This middle point needs to section through my major axis. I will then label it as point 1. I will proceed by applying another middle point method on line EH. This middle point method must section through my minor axis. Where the middle point method sections my minor axis, I will label that as point 2.
We can then take our compass and project point 1 and 2 to the opposite side of our axis. Label these two points as point 3 and 4. The last part of my constructions will be to extend a short line out of my angles from my rectangle. I will do this by using my ruler and extending my top angles to point D and my bottom angles to point E. I don't need to do point F as point F has already been done, that is line FD. To draw my ellipse, I need to place my compass on point 1 and adjust it to point B. This radius will be used to draw the sides of my ellipse. Without adjusting my compass, I will use the exact same measurement on point 3 and C. And then finally, place your compass on point 2 and adjust it all the way to point E. This measurement will be used to draw the final part at the top and the bottom of my ellipse. Without making any adjustments to your compass, place it on point 4 and draw the last bottom part of your ellipse. If you haven't liked the video yet, now's a great time to do so. Also remember to press the subscribe button for future content. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.